this video will share with you my tips when it comes to balancing business and motherhood. If there is even such a thing as balance. If you're an ambitious mama to young, very active kiddos, then this video is definitely for you. Hi guys, hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're a content creator, an entrepreneur or a working mama, then you've come to the right place. I'm honestly very tired of hearing that when you become a parent, your life is over. I know it's a very dramatic. Your life certainly changes and it might take a little while for you to adjust to a new normal. But it certainly doesn't mean you have to put your dreams and ambitions on the back burner. You can show up for your babies and be a very present mom while building a career of your dreams. I am not saying it's a walk in the park either. Managing your family and business successfully at the same time requires strategy, planning, discipline and a good sense of humor. If you're new to my channel, my name is Veronica. I'm a co-founder of a modest activewear brand for generation apparel. I'm a content creator and a photographer. I share my business journey along with its ups and downs, valuable lessons and practical advice to inspire women like me to pursue their passion, work for their dreams and craft the life they deserve. If you're ready to learn what helps me to navigate through my busy life as a working from home mom, then make sure you like this video and tune in. First of all, self-care is so important. Sleep free Aggressions, colleagues, teething, house chores, endless laundry, chasing your active toddlers around all day. Motherhood is hard as much as it's blissful and rewarding. In the midst of our busy lives, we tend to neglect our health and well-being. Mama, you have to take care of yourself first. Only then everything else will fall into place. And I'm not talking about 45-minute baths, clay masks, and cucumbers on your eyes kind of self-care. Well, if that works for you, then do more of that. But I want you to recognize what makes you feel good and recharges your batteries. Is it reading a book with your favorite cup of tea? Is it taking a long walk all by yourself? Is it taking a 30-minute nap in the middle of the day? Whatever it is for you, make sure sure you create some room in your calendar for that much needed me time. We have to remember that our babies need to have a happy mother and our work requires a focused leader. You can't deliver on either fronts if you don't feel your best. No one can make you feel better but you. Make sure you make it your priority to make yourself feel good first thing in the morning to set the tone for your entire day. I've created an entire video where I share with you my energy boosting morning routine. Make sure you add it to your watch list. You can find the link in the description. Secondly, you can wake up early or work late. The reality of being a working from home mom is that you can't work or you can't do tasks that require a lot of focus when your kids are around, which means you have to find some time in your day for those tasks. You can either wake up early before your kids do, so throw your emails, write your copy, film, or you can stay up and do your deep focus work after your kids go to bed. I've done both and in this season of life my son is a very early riser, which means I stay up after he goes to sleep and I work between 8 to 10 p.m. at night. Remember, it's not the quantity but the quality of your work that truly matters. You'll be amazed of how much you can actually accomplish in just one or two hours when you really focus on your work. I've created an entire video where I share with you my top tips when it comes to maximizing your daily productivity, so make sure you check it out. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Thirdly, utilize nap time. If your children are still napping during the day, you have to make the most of that time. I mean it. Leave the laundry, leave the dirty dishes in the sink, leave the toys scattered all over the floor. Just leave them. Pick up your phone, laptop, camera, notebook, whatever you need and get to work. Let go of excuses like I can't focus when it's messy. That is just making excuses and prioritizing everything else over your business. You can do the chores when your kids are playing, having their lunch or while you're wearing the baby. You have to make your business a priority and do your deep work the work that actually moves the needle in your business during nap time. You can be working very hard on uh, little meaningless tasks like organizing your workflow and color coding your spreadsheets, but those tasks don't contribute to major shifts in your business. You have to be very careful on what you focus on because now that you're a mom, your work hours are very limited. You have to be bold and get through the most important and impactful tasks while your babies are sound asleep 
which brings me to my next point. Plan ahead. Plan your days and prioritize your tasks. You have to know exactly how much time you have to work with and what exactly needs to be done in that particular time frame. So you can dive straight into work as soon as your baby's precious little head hits the pillow. Just an expression because we all know that pillows are not safe up until certain age. You have to be very particular when you decide what task you want to work on, which means you need to have a solid specific to-do list and a schedule that you've already revised the night before. You can't afford to waste a single minute on deciding what you should work on, what needs to be done or what you feel like working on. You have to maximize the time you have, which is why knowing exactly what you need to do at that particular time frame is so crucial because that will help you work efficiently. And don't forget to ask for help and accept it when it's offered. Yes, you can do it all and you're so strong and capable as a mom and as a businesswoman. But if you have an opportunity to get help, take it. Talk to your spouse or partner. Work out a schedule between the two of you which will free up some time for you to do the work. If you need help with chores, ask for it and accept it when offered. If your parents or in-laws are available and willing to look after your kid uh, once or twice a week, accept the help or opt out for daycare a couple days a week. There is nothing wrong with that. Whenever you're with your babies, give them undivided attention. And whenever you're working, give your work undivided attention quality over quantity. My mom comes over two to three times a week to help me with house chores and hang out with my son. That's when I schedule my most important and difficult work. Work like shoots and meetings. I'm so grateful for the help because I wouldn't be able to show up for my work and online as much as I do if I didn't have that help. As working mothers, our days are unpredictable and our schedules are fluid and that's fine. Give yourself grace and do the best you can in the season of life you're in. Don't beat yourself up for not doing enough in your business. And if you have a type A personality like I do, then no amount of work is ever enough. Enjoy the precious moments you have with your children because they do grow up way too fast. Well, your work will always be there. Mama, you are doing the most amazing job. If you found this video helpful, then all I ask of you is to like it, comment and share it with a friend. Help me spread the word so I can inspire more content creators and entrepreneurs to pursue their passion, take action and start working for their dreams. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here. And if you want to learn more about productivity and time management, check out this playlist over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later.